What is going on, Steelers Nation? Welcome back to another video. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let's try to get to 1,000 subs by the end of the football season here. But let's talk about the game. Awful win, honestly, minus the defensive side of the ball. Um, but overall, it was just a, a bad win. Um, more specifically on the offensive side of the ball, everything about the offense looked like crap except for the George Pickens touchdown. Uh, Kenny's vision is absolutely awful. I'm not losing faith in the guy yet, but it's starting to worry me. His vision is not there. He's making a lot of bad decisions. You know, just, they came out of the gate with almost an interception right out of halftime. Um, just poor decision making. Um, the offensive line is is awful as well. Um, they're not giving him a chance to be able to read the defense and make a play. Um, but it's just it's not good. And then just to go along with the offensive line, it's just it's they're awful in the run game too. Um, more specifically, Najee Harris, I think he's the one really to blame uh, in the running game because Jalen Warren comes in and he's able to get five yards of carry, whereas Najee Harris is averaging like minus one yard yesterday, uh, minus his two big plays that he had, which went for like 15 yards total. Um, but Najee Harris is really starting to scare me. Uh, I think Jalen Warren... Uh, heading into Vegas, needs to be the starter uh, at running back for week three um, and other positions too. Um, Chooks had a very bad game. I know he's coming off a concussion. I don't know if he had issues because of that. Um, Dan Moore Jr. Uh, actually didn't play bad um, considering that he had to go up against Miles Garrett, um, which he only allowed like one pressure and one tackle. Um, but otherwise, I mean, he... He did have some plays that, you know, the pocket collapsed pretty quickly. Um, but I would love to see Broderick Jones in there. Um, now on the defensive side of the ball, um, you have to, have to play Joey Porter Jr. Um, uh, I know he probably got away with a hold last night in that game on the last play of the game. Um, but other than that, he had a good uh, pass breakup. Uh, I think it was right in the second quarter there. Uh, Levi Wallace was getting absolutely burnt last night. Um, he looked absolutely awful. Um, Amari Cooper had his way with him, Elijah Moore. Um, they all played very well against Levi Wallace and is definitely the weakness in the backfield there. Um, and then obviously another loss was that Minka Fitzpatrick was taken to the hospital, um, you know, during the game last night. Uh, he got hurt in that fumble fiasco, whatever the hell Gunnar Oshesky was yesterday. Um, so there's no news on him yet. Hopefully everything is okay. We're definitely going to need him against the Raiders, um, to be able to stop the deep threat in Devontae Adams. But, um, to speak on Gunnar Oshesky, absolutely awful on the fair catch, toe tap, whatever the hell that was on the special teams on the kickoff there. The, the rule is if he catches the ball with one foot out of bounds, one foot inbounds, the Steelers would have the ball at the 40 yard line. And obviously he did not make a good play there. Um, and then the, the catch and fumble, which I don't know if it was a completed pass, truthfully. Either way, it turned into a fumble, and the Browns were down at the 10-yard line. So um, I am calling for him to be cut as well, too. Um, it's just it's just bad. Just leave it to Calvin Austin. Um, I know Anthony McFarlane was hurt for this game and typically is the kick returner. Um, but in that situation, I think they should have just played Calvin Austin on both ends with punt return and kick return. Um, so maybe that's an adjustment that I'll have to make, if, especially if Anthony McFarlane is going to be out next week, too. I'm not sure, again, what his situation is or how long he's going to be out for. Um, but those are definitely a few of the changes. And as always, fire Matt Canada. Um, the offensive play calls were, were garbage, um, especially on third and one. Um, you design a play that's an RPO. So on, on third and one in a crucial part of the game, you have your quarterback in shotgun, which is already five yards out, four to five yards out. So now he already has to go five yards to get a first down. And he's running on an angle, which in reality, he has to get more than five yards because uh, math is math in there. Um, so just an awful play call. Um, you know, the Philadelphia Eagles, I don't like to give them credit on anything. But the tush push, it's still legal and, you know, works 92% of the time. So... You know, Kenny Pickett in his career so far is 11 for 11 on third and one and fourth and ones. I don't understand why they did not do that play there to now, you know, make it him 11 for 12 on those short gainage yards. 
Um, but it was just an awful play call. Um, everything else, they need to get Fryermuth in the game more. I think he had three targets, only one catch yesterday. Killed me in fantasy. Thanks, Pat. Um, but, I mean, it's just the offensive play calling is, is absolutely awful. I know it's just beating a dead horse at this point. Um, but something needs to change. I, I, you know, Steelers Nation was chanting Fire Canada in the middle of the game yesterday. Um, especially, I think it was right after that third and one call. Um, but it was it was just awful play calling. Um, but really, a lot of these guys have to step up. Um, and I think just a few changes need to be made. I mean, this defense is good enough to win us games, and that's the reason why the Steelers won last night. And uh, moving forward, they're going to have to be the backbone of this team because the offense is lacking and the defense has the same amount of touchdowns as the Steelers do offensively this season, uh, which is absolutely awful. So um, we'll see if Tomlin makes some adjustments. We'll see if Matt Canada gets fired, which I doubt is going to happen because they just love him for something. Um, I think he's got blackmail on him, honestly. Uh, he's got something against the uh, ownership, something. Um, because they should have fired him last year, but... To get off that topic, a win is a win. You go to Vegas, it's going to be a tough game. The Steelers just historically has not played well against the Raiders, um, mostly obviously in the time in Oakland. This is our first visit in um, the Death Star there. Um, so we'll see what happens. It's going to be a good game, Sunday night football. Um, so let's just see if these guys get back and healthy. Again, here we go, Steelers Nation. If you made it this far, comment what your favorite play of uh, the game was last night. Um, and again, please hit that subscribe button, that likes, appreciate everything. And as always, here we go Steelers.